I bought a massage chair. <laughs> Did you? Oh, it really? don't work. It does not. <laughs> the button doesn't work. But what, what, what was it that they, they bought? A monkey. Um, they bought a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to start a business, uh, what would it be? Uh, and which teammate do you reckon would be most likely to invest? The cheesecake chair, man. Cheesecake chair. <laughs> cheesecake chair. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to this West Ham and the Toro link up. My name is Sam North, a market analyst at the Toro. And today we've got Jared Bowen, Lucas Fabianski, and Thomas Suchek. And we're going to put them through their paces with some quick fire questions. The worst purchase, <laughs> something you really regret. Uh, or, is, or is there a lot? Is there anything that sticks out? I've got yeah. an answer because mine's quite recent. Okay. So I on. bought a massage chair. <laughs> <Did you laughs> it really? don't work. It does not. <laughs> the button doesn't work so, and Aww. I'm just stuck in... There's a chair at my house. You know, they're quite big chairs. So yeah, it's just yeah. stuck in like, a spare room. So. When you got it, were you really looking forward to getting yeah, it on Yeah, because there, we had a couple at the training ground that yeah. were good. So I thought, oh, let me you know, message a couple of people, see you know, who's got what's around, what's a good one. And this one turned up, it took me ages to put me and my friend put it up oh. together. Uh, and then the on button didn't work, so I'm just stuck <laughs> with this chair. So that, that's why I can answer, because it's recently Quite that recent, I've got yeah. that. Yeah, so that would, obviously, like Tom said, there's probably loads of stuff that yeah. we've brought that we think, why did I do that at the mm. time? But that one for me, because it's recent. Well, I guess it's a shame, because the other way around, it could have been the best if it worked, couldn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, it'd be <laughs> unbelievable. What is your guilty pleasure that you just can't resist? I like, can I love candles in the house. <laughs> so I like Joe Malone, so the big, the big, uh, the um, yeah. big one, but yeah. I've never lit it. No, you never lit it. Just sort of stands there as a. But I just like the look of it. Yeah, I don't like ice cream, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, little treat. Go for it. Cheesecake. <laughs> What, what, what kind of cheesecake? Is there, like, oh, because Lucas can make different, the cheesecake. Yeah, different, yeah, yeah. He, different cheesecakes, yes. But he make uh, on himself, like. Yeah. Uh, would you, bring, home, would you yeah. bring them into the. Into no, the I just. Uh, I think to once me, I, uh, I, uh, once I gave it to Thomas. Perfect one, yeah. Yeah. Not, not, not one for Jared? <laughs> not yet. If he wants one, I'll make, I'll, make, I'll make one for him as well. I think you should. What is the most extravagant or over the top purchase you've ever witnessed a teammate do? Is there anything recently you guys have witnessed from a. A teammate buying a car. Yeah, funds it every week. Baby blue car. Um, <laughs> every two weeks, new car, funds yeah. <laughs> No, it wasn't here, but. Was it a certain player in yeah, particular? Yeah, a certain player. But what, what, what was it that they, they bought? A uh, monkey. Um, they bought a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> what is the best piece of advice you ever received regarding money? Um, uh, probably from my parents, and uh, they were always saying, like, respect the money you can receive like big sums of it and I think that's especially at the young age you, yeah, it can affect you so I think yeah I remember always them saying uh, yeah just respect it in a way that uh, you know you don't you don't go crazy you don't go stupid what is the best investment you've ever made if I can say it yeah. so for me it's like my first apartment because yeah. it's like uh, I bought it for some uh, money and yeah. now it's like what it raised world. like yeah. uh, so yeah. That was like probably the best I did. So eToro are known as social investing yeah. platform. So on there, people can uh, exchange ideas. There's like okay. a, a chat where, where people can okay. sort of bounce ideas off each other uh, and, and even copy other traders as well. Is there anyone uh, in the changing room that you think has got their, their head switched on that you would sort of copy any investments that they make or would you all own I wouldn't say copy, but Chris is on it, that's for sure. Yeah, Chris is yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah. Was always on. Yeah, Nox was always, always yeah. 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 On it with his. You know, is there a bit of chat in the changing room where people it used sort of to talk be, about huh? It? Yeah, it used to it used be to more. Be. Now it's less because yeah, I think yeah. Nobs is gone. What well, would he yeah. come in and, and just sort of say? No, not really come in and like say no. it, but just like I said before about having people switched on, he's probably one of those that you could probably go and speak to yeah. and he, he knows, he understands it. From an Etoro standpoint, the idea of the social investing is that people can ask these questions. So if you wanted to copy an investor, you can ask them, why did you do that? Well, if someone said, I've got an idea, and someone takes the idea. Well, I mean, it can happen, but I guess in, in a way, you know, if, let's just say I had an, uh, I wrote an idea that I want to invest in a certain company, you know, I can still do that. So if someone wanted to do the same thing, they, they could do as well. If you could give your younger self one financial tip, Ooh. what would it be? I would tell like the young ones, uh, don't change yourself. Just uh, if you have like uh, any salary or you don't have, of course, uh, you can like uh, buy the food, like more uh, some clothes and something like this. But don't change your life uh, yeah, yeah. too much. Mm. Uh, behave yourself and uh, more to go for the football as well. Or yeah. if it's uh, you don't play football or you uh, study or you do everything, so 
uh, concentrate what you do, did before and try to save the money and mm. uh, what did you buy with your first professional paycheck so my first ever money that I earned went for to buy a first car for myself so nice how long did you have the car a while yeah, I still have my uncle still have yeah it. yeah it's still Amazing. in the still in the family so so it's uh, yeah that's a good investment then what is the best purchase you've ever made I mean that could be anything right but what what really sticks out to to you guys if we speak about the boots, uh, yeah. uh, obviously uh, the uh, the parents uh, yeah. bought them like from uh, young five or like older. But as the uh, age of I don't know seventeen, uh, we could uh, in uh, a little bit. So uh, finally, like uh, we could buy like uh, the original, the best models. So yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, yeah, I uh, I remember that uh, that was like wow, I I get them finally. <laughs> uh, so I remember for for that, uh, but. So uh, as a big one is maybe uh, the car as well yeah. because uh, I always uh, went somewhere by bus or tube and uh, when I uh, could go uh, not by train to home my home but uh, by the car it was like special for me I could uh, I could go uh, or, or I could take uh, my friends as well so that was like uh, I think good investment. If you were to start a business, uh, what would it be? Uh, and which teammate do you reckon would be most likely to invest? The cheesecake too, no. Cheesecake too. <laughs> 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 <can't do> <laughs> cheesecake shop. <laughs> Jared, the top I have one good <laughs> idea. Who <laughs> can be like uh, uh, in the kitchen? Yeah, yeah, I could do it. Yeah, yeah I guess you could get some sort of restaurant. Yeah. Good chips, good how, cheese, how, healthy cheesecakes. Healthy cheesecakes. I don't know if you can do a healthy cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> I came from farming, so I always want Is my own farm. Yeah. So, you know, maybe when I retire, I'll look into that. Yeah. Um, my family still own the farms now, so maybe right. I can kind of take it over. Yeah. But I've always wanted to do that. And then another one that I was, I think I was speaking to my girlfriend about the other day, I've always wanted a coffee shop. Yeah. Um, and she's always wanted like a soft play area. So we just got linked together. Combine kind the of two, thing. yeah, it's yeah. like a coffee. So that would be my kind of route that I'd go down. And with. you'd no doubt sell these healthy cheesecakes. I'd get the cheesecakes. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Amazing. I hope that into you, one. Uh, you yeah. do that because in London we always try to find this uh, coffee shop with oh, yeah, no, not many here. I think. The business sounds pretty good there. Uh, guys, thank you very much for, for joining us uh, today. It's been an absolute pleasure having you on. Thank you. Cheers. Thank, thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Thank you to everyone for joining us today and thank you to Jared, Thomas and Lucas. For anyone that has any questions about eToro, feel free to get in contact. Thank you.